Ed here with the Digital Digest, and today I wanted to share a quick unboxing and first look at the Nest thermostat. Now, of course, if you've been watching my channel recently, you've been seeing a lot of Nest products, and that's because I'm in the process of rebuilding my home that was destroyed by Hurricane Matthew back in October. Boy, does it get tiresome having to repeat that, let alone what I've experienced. At any rate, one of the benefits is that I am making everything smart, and the Nest thermostat, the Nest ecosystem, is a big part of that, other than my doorbell where I will have to fall on ring because Nest simply doesn't make anything. Now, these retail for around $250. US You can generally look at your local power companies. This is on a state-by-state -state, uh, you know, case or basis. Uh, they may discount it. In my case, they do. Uh, and essentially, this is the third gen. Nest may have a fourth gen right around the corner. This has been out long enough that they should, but I've seen nothing to indicate that there is a fourth gen right around the corner. Uh, they did just launch a new indoor cam announced today, a 4K one, which looks very interesting. Uh, but I'm already invested, unfortunately, for better or for worse, in the regular uh, non 4K, but the 1080p version, which is still very good. Um, now, the beauty of this, we're going to see if I was able to cut enough plastic, I think I was, is that not only, I mean, the whole idea here is that once you're in the Nest ecosystem, one app to rule them all. Uh, for me, other it'll be the thermostats, my security cameras, um, and as well as the Nest Protect for smoke and CO. Now, I believe the Nest thermostat does have a CO detector on board as well. So that's one of the reasons you will not need a CO detector necessarily in your bedroom, but I'm not positive. I think that's the case. Uh, but then furthermore, uh, it has a motion detector so that it essentially stays off until you walk by. It'll then give you a readout of the current temperature. Uh, you can simply jog the dial that is built around the Nest thermostat in order to manipulate the temperature in the zone that it controls and it's well made has a nice display uh, really in my opinion the nicest product of its kind uh, in terms of functionality it does attempt to learn your uh, cooling and heating uh, usage needs basically it tracks them in the same way that Google tracks our search results and then tries to figure out based on time of day and all of the other things it collects in terms of data, when it should be either throttling that AC, uh, making it warmer, cooler, you get the idea. It is, after all, called a Nest Learning Thermostat. And the third gen, really nice display on here. Uh, you can see right at the back we have the uh, USB, well, it's not USB, it's a connection port for mounting this on your wall and you can adapt this to existing thermostats so if you're worried oh i've got a 10 or a 15 year old thermostat don't worry you will be able to do this instruction manual right there and then essentially you have your mount uh, which is you know essentially going to be how the nest is going to function i would say installation you're looking at about a 20 to 30 minute process i'm not going to be doing a video on that um, and then of course your tool for installation uh, and really what it comes down to as I said earlier is that I just believe that Google or really Nest because they did make this before Google purchased them has come out with uh, the best product on the market to date now they do include an actual wall mounting bracket um, so that you can actually place the Nest on here like this uh, you don't need to do that. You can go directly to the wall. Uh, there are other custom made, you know, third party circular back plates. So it's all a matter of what you really want to do with the nest, the look that you desire uh, to have. Uh, but this is the mounting bracket for this plate. And got some screws in there. And that's pretty much it. So uh, as it states right here, uh, on the insert, it says, you know, turn off the power to your heating and cooling systems before installing uh, because that is quite important. And then basically you're just using the existing wiring that you have uh, in order to mount the nest and get it up and running. So pretty much anyone can do this. Not a major learning curve with installing a nest. Does it take some time? Sure. But definitely something I think is very uh, worthwhile if you own a home and 
are actually interested in having a networked thermostat because you will have control of this remotely as well. Even though I've mentioned all of the ability to control it on board and it's sensing motion to light up and give you uh, the information of current temps, etc. You can just open up the Nest app and change zones. So if you forget and you think the Nest hasn't learned your habits properly, you can remotely turn the heat or AC on or off while being out of the house or in the house using iOS or Android based uh, Nest application. So the Nest application. Uh, so really the best of both worlds, in my opinion, also aesthetically pleasing, which is not something I can say for the Ecobee and a lot of other competing products that Honeywell has tried to put out, you know, all the old players trying to get back in the game since Nest really took digital uh, and network to another level in this field. Any questions or comments, please feel free to post them. Hit that like button. And as usual, please feel free to subscribe. Later.